Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Reading. Thank you, Sagittarius, so much for joining me. I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing. So for today's Tarot Reading, let's cover your love reading for April 2024. Let's find out what are the energies, what is something that you need to know, feelings, actions, what's going to happen for April 2024, please. So let's get started, Sagittarius. I also want to announce, yes, there will be an extended available. So if this really, really does resonate with you, there will be an extended available to rent or to purchase. It will be the first link down below where I'll be, will, I will be looking at the other person's point of view, their perspective, what are they thinking, what actions, whatever comes out here, it will be an extended on this reading. So whatever any issues, any outcome that comes out here, I will be doing an extended on that. Excellent. So let's get started, Sagittarius. Let's begin. And lastly, I also want to mention that our Tarot Master course is available on sale right, right this very minute. So if you still want to learn Tarot, master your skills at reading for yourself or for others, the Tarot course is available on sale right now. Just visit fifigvtarot.com. Amazing. All right, let's get to it, Sagittarius. Let's find out what's going on. First of all, behind the deck, we do have the Six of Pentacles. Interesting. The Six of Pentacles is all about equal give and take, but someone's not doing their fair share of this relationship because we also have the Three of Swords. Three of Swords shows hardship. There is heartbreak here because someone's not putting their input into the relationship. Someone's not working, being there, giving you that time, giving you that attention. So someone's like missing in action here and it's causing heartbreak here. It's causing that suffering. It's causing that, that anger, unfortunately. Let's get straight into it. Let's find out what is going on, Sagittarius. Let's have a look. Mm. Yep, so we do have the Ten of Cups here. Ten of Cups, what we know about the Ten of Cups is the emotional fulfillment here. Emotional abundance, emotional bliss here. This is a very, very energy card. So I'm checking out the energy here. Very good energy card here. Something that you desire, something that you really, really want. Hmm, interesting. So we do have judgment card here. Yeah, someone's returning here. So I feel Sagittarius is someone from your past returning here. Interesting that it's right next to. The Ten of Cups here. So someone that makes you feel emotionally fulfilled here. And with judgment is the card of resurrection here. So someone from your past is definitely returning Sagittarius. This could be an ex, a friend, someone that, yeah, you, you definitely know this person. And you will be judging them, Sagittarius. Be in a position of power where you're judging what they're saying, what they're, whatever they're doing. And think of it as the judge, the juror, and the executioner. Judgment does speed up the pace, so things can happen a lot sooner than what you think. How are you going to feel about this person? Hmm, interesting. So we do have the Empress. The Empress is the card, we know, very abundant card. So I have a feeling, Sagittarius, you still have feelings for this person. Anything, I'm going to say you actually miss them because they give you that emotional fulfillment. You feel that abundance, that bliss. You feel very feminine too. Like in other words, you feel very soft, pretty, you know, all that stuff here. What else? Yeah. Someone wants to offer you their heart with the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is all about new cycles and new beginnings here. So it's, yeah, definitely, yeah, someone wants to really pour out their heart because they're thinking about you. Hmm, interesting. Lots of secrets, though. We have the moon now. So the moon does show mystery, secrecy. So this person is a bit of a mystery, I'm going to say, definitely. We can't see what's happening in the shadows. Can you trust this person? We need to see for, for ourselves here because they still want to come back into your life. They want to make an appearance. They want to offer you their heart, something that they're not telling you also. 
now we have the three of pentacles. So yeah, this person definitely wants to show you that they have feelings for you still. This person obviously wants to put their input, wants to work on the relationship. So on the outside, yes, we are seeing that they have really, really good intentions. Two of Cups, this person really loves you, Sagittarius. This person is showing that they're thinking about you, they have true feelings for you. And the Two of Cups, we know the Two of Cups is the card of true love here. It's the card of when you're matching and mirroring someone, you finish each other's sentences, you share the same goals, the same values in life, the same views. Yeah, you're going to meet this person halfway with the Three of Wands. You want to hear this person out. You want to see what do they have to say? What are they going to present? What are they going to bring to the table here? But you're not going to make a decision straight away with the four of swords because it's kind of like telling you in the outcome, Sagittarius, sleep on it. Don't rush into it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, this is all beautiful, but there's a reason why you're not jumping in straight away. There's a reason why you're not saying, yes, yes, let's be together. Because you want to sleep on it. You want to take your time. You want to just um, really make sure you're making the right decision here. How interesting. Now, this could have something to do with the moon here. Something that's happened, secrets. There's perhaps trust has been, uh, there's been an issue with trust in the past. Let's have a look. Let's confirm this reading. Going to use the Tarot of Owls. And of course, if you do wish to purchase any of these tarot cards, they are down below in the description box. Let's find out. Let's confirm this reading. Why are you not so sure about this person, Sagittarius? That's coming. Do you have the resurrection card? Someone from your past wants to come back. Let's find out. And yes, I just want to mention again there will be an extended available to rent or to purchase where I will be looking at this person a lot deeper. It's, it is a little bit snooping around, but it is with all good intentions. It's to give you some guidance and clarity and closure even. Let's find out. Sagittarius, let's find out about your person. What's going on? Why do we have the moon? I don't like the moon there, to be honest. They're probably not going to see this person coming. Might be quite a shock, quite a surprise. The Ten of Cups confirmed with the Page. <laughs> Of pentacles. So I feel though, Sagittarius, it's going to be like a golden opportunity being presented to you. Something that's going to make you excited. So it's obviously this person that's coming back, bringing some sort of golden opportunity, surprising you, showing up, saying, oh my God, Sagittarius. Interesting. There's also the student card too. So this person has been, you could say, working quite a lot in the backgrounds, thinking about you, working, finding a way to approach you, finding a way to your attention. The judgment card. Why is the judgment card there? Because this person has had a lot of time to do a bit of self-reflection. This person, and again, this is the single card. This could also mean you, Sagittarius, being single. Even though this person, yes, will return, you're going to do a lot of self-reflection, Sagittarius. Virgo energy, you're not just going to like jump in because you're different now, Sagittarius. You're not the same person as you were, let's say, six months ago. You're different now. You're much wiser, much more intelligent. You have experience now. You have wisdom. And you've got to remember the hermit, they, they see through people's BS. They, they do. The hermit knows all. That's why the hermit can be on their own and just carry a lantern to guide them. So this person that's coming back, whatever it is that they're going to say, you're going to go away and do a bit of self-reflection on their words. You're going to really, really digest everything that they're saying. The empress, also with the will of fortune. Yeah. Interesting. 
from being at the bottom of the wheel, you're going to start being on top now. So the Wheel of Fortune is luck. I feel like this arrangement is just going to be out of luck here. And this person is going to bring you news of abundance, news of change, news of everything that's beautiful. Everything like this, literally this person is going to present you something on a silver platter here, something that's really shiny, something to convince you, I'm going to say. What about the Ace of Cups, please? Yeah, Page of Swords. So this is the spying card. Would not be surprised that this person that's returning with the judgment has been spying on you, Sagittarius. Looking you up online, looking at your social posts, maybe photos, anything that you're posting up yet. We have the spying card here with the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is someone that's very curious also. They're very curious what you're up to, what are you doing. As you can see, the young person wielding the sword, looking out onto the horizon, being curious, stepping out into the unknown. Interesting. So this will come in a form of a message. This pages is all about messages, small messages. The moon. Why is the moon there? So we do have the three of pentacles here. Interesting. So the three of pentacles has come out twice here. Interesting. So three of pentacles is all about working together. But we also have the moon. Is this person really working with you? Is this person really on your side? Is this person really on Team Sagittarius? The three of pentacles also confirmed with the eight of pentacles. So this person really wants to show you, Sagittarius, that I'm going to put on the work. I'm going to put on the input. I'm going to work hard in this relationship. I'm going to prove to you that this is going to work. So I feel, Sagittarius, this person that's coming back really wants to prove to you that this can work. Two of Cups, also with the Page of Cups. They're going to profess their love to you also with the Page of Cups. Again, messages. These messages are going to trigger you emotionally. That's why you also have the Ten of Cups here. This person knows how to trigger you. They're going for the emotions. They're going for ways to for you to lower your guard, for you to say, okay, yeah, let's meet up. The Three of Wands also with the Queen of Swords. What we know about the Queen of Swords, the butterflies, this showing a transition. So yes, you meeting up with this person, like both of you coming together here. However, Sagittarius, you definitely have a history with this person because the Queen of Swords has shown up. You've got quite a past, definitely some challenges in the past. And the Queen of Swords is the only queen that yields a weapon here. So what does that mean? I feel like you're going to come in with this attitude, Sagittarius, and say, I'm going to give you five minutes to talk, speak, because you're going to be listening from your head, not from your heart here. You just want this per person to communicate. And the thing is, with the Queen of Swords, does not play games. So Sagittarius, you're going to, you're not there to waste time. No, you just want to hear this person out. And that's it really. Because there's, there's, there is that attitude. It's like, hurry up. Come on. I'll give you five minutes to talk. Kind of attitude here. Now you want to you wanna rest with the Four of Swords. What else? Six of Pentacles. Because it's all about equal give and take here. I don't feel that you're very, very convinced, Sagittarius, because this is what you really want. You want someone just to be real, be there. In other words, be there through the ups and downs. Put in that effort into this relationship, but at the same time, you're retreating. You're like taking a rest. It's like, oh, I need to think about it. I need to, because you don't trust this person. So the moon has come out twice now. You don't trust this person at all. And I'm sure, Sagittarius, you have your reasons why you don't really trust this person because you also do have the hermit. Remember, the hermit sees through people's BS. They see through their, they, they see through all the crap. And the thing is, you're not 100% convinced by this person. You don't trust them, actually. 
you don't feel that, mm, you're not fully convinced. So even though this person is coming back and they're showing quite a display, like they've changed, that they're willing to do whatever it takes, you're not convinced, Sagittarius, unfortunately, because we do have the Queen of Swords. So this definitely has been some speed bumps along the way with this person in the past, and you don't fully trust them. Now, the moon, the moon, there may have been issues with this person's character in the sense they say one thing, then they do the other thing. There may have been stuff on their phone that you found out. There may have been a secret affair. There could have been a number of things why you don't fully trust them. So you've got to follow what's in your heart, Sagittarius. Again, you do not have to answer straight away to this person. I don't feel that's what you're going to do. If anything, I feel like you're going to retreat because there's something that's in their mouth, something in their words that you just know can't trust this person. So I don't feel that you're going to trust this person at all, Sagittarius, because there's something that they're going to say that you know that they're kind of like speaking just words, no action. So now I'm actually going to dive into this extended. I want to find more about this person because the moon has come out twice. So if this reading does resonate with you, it will be available. It's the first link down below. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Ciao for now.